I think that there were always, there was always kind of a sense of um, like, that was implied, right, within culture and society that the woman's place is to look good. You know, I did have one, one time in, in a band, someone kind of say like, oh no, just play the tambourine, you know, and like wear something low cut. And I remember being infuriated by that. And I think some girls growing up are naturally more inclined to kind of be sensitive to that kind of thought process. Um, and I grew up in kind of a fundamental, like a fundamentalistic, um, ideally speaking, home and community. So I was, and I was very sensitive to the differences between the male and the female um, stereotypes, and I didn't like them. And I, I kind of naturally felt like I wanted to rebel against that. And so as I grew up in music, it was, it was easy to sense the same thing and be like, nope, like, I, I, I just naturally, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to pay any attention to that. Um, and I found myself working with a team currently that is nothing but encouraging. And actually quite a few women on our team, we have a, a woman who's our manager, a woman who's our booking agent, a woman who's our publicist. Um, and, and that's still not quite the industry norm yet. So it's, it's really, f I, f I feel very supported in what I'm doing. I think more women need to feel uh, empowered. I, th I think as time progresses, I feel very, very hopeful about it. Uh, more women just, just having the jobs and, and doing their thing, I think that's all that they, they need to do. I see really great things for the future of women. Um, I see them becoming more and more empowered to do what they want to do. Um, I see them playing more and more of a role in the music industry, but also, of course, in leadership roles in the world. Um, I think part of that is going to be be women, you know, like finding the way that they fit within the way things are now, but also absolutely changing the way that things are.